Of course, this time of year, maybe like right now, we always have to be on guard for pop-up thunderstorms. Liz McGiffin reports tonight there are several things you can do to prevent putting yourself in danger on the lake. The power of lightning was on full display the last couple of days as thunderstorms rolled through, not only hitting the water, but trees like that one behind me. It sounded like a stick of dynamite went off. It hit right there by that buoy and ricocheted plumb across the water over there to that. The lightning hit it and popped it up. It jumped up probably three feet. So far this year, there have been reports of three lightning deaths in the United States. And most lightning fatalities happen while people are fishing. Fishermen are diehard people. They're out here all the time. I definitely have been out of my pontoon boat when a pretty gnarly storm hit and uh, pretty much just had to ride it out. When you're out on the water, make sure that you're staying up to date with weather conditions and have a way to get severe weather alerts. I mostly just look up at the sky and see what's happening. <laughs> Take it as it comes or uh, usually a cell phone give you the best warning. Since water is a conductor of electricity, it's important to go indoors as soon as you hear that first clap of thunder. If you hear thunder, I don't care if it sounds like it's miles away. There's lightning right here. So just be mindful. That's the biggest problem. Many of the area lakes will use a little air horn like this guy to let you know that it is time to get off the water. Another way that you can get alerts about lightning and developing thunderstorms is from your smartphone by just downloading our Storm Team app. In Springfield, I'm meteorologist Liz McGiffin.